Good morning children. We proceed chain rule and differentiation exercise 10.3. Question number 24. Y equals 1 plus cos square x the whole power 6. As we differentiate y with respect to x, y becomes dy dx. RHS, we have three things. The power 6. What is inside the bracket? 1 as well as cos square. When I come to cos square, it is again the power 2 and then cos 6. So we have three steps. The power 6, the power 2 and then cos 6. As we differentiate, recall the formula x power n derivative n x power n minus 1. Here it is 6. As I put n is equal to 6, n minus 1 will be 6 minus 1 that is 5. Substitute 1 plus cos square x. The whole power 6. We write n the bracket power n minus 1. 6 the bracket power 6 minus 1. Hide the power. What is inside the bracket we need to differentiate. The next step. 6 1 plus cos square x the whole power 5. 1 derivative 0. Cos square x the power. Cos square will become 2 cos x. Applying the same formula when it is x square. The derivative 2x. So cos square will become 2 cos x. Then hide the power. I have cos x. Differentiate cos x. My final answer 6 into 1 plus cos square x. The whole power 5 into 2 cos x. Cos x derivative minus sin x. 2 sin x cos x. Whenever I see, I can write sin 2x. 2 sin x cos x. The formula in trigonometry sin 2x. Minus symbol comes as it is. The number 6 comes as it is. And then we are left with 1 plus cos square x the whole power 5. And this is the answer for dy dx. Question number 25, y equals e power 3x by 1 plus e power x. We need to differentiate. It is of the pattern quotient rule. So the numerator we call u and the denominator we call v. As I write, u equals e power 3x, u dash, e power as it is, hide e. 3x the derivative 3. Similarly, v is the denominator 1 plus e power x. v dash 1 becomes 0. e power x the derivative e power x. We remember the formula u by v the whole dash. v u dash minus u v dash divided by v square. As we know the formula. Let us substitute. We differentiate y which becomes dy dx. RHS we substitute the formula. V u dash. V is 1 plus e power x. U dash 3 e power 3x minus u v dash e power 3x into e power x. Denominator v square. That is 1 plus e power x the whole square. As I look at the numerator e power 3x is common. We multiply 3 into 1, 3 into e power x. Minus e power x. We have taken e power 3x as common. 3 into 1, 3 into e power x minus e power x. The denominator, 1 plus e power x, the whole square. As we simplify, dy dx is 
e power 3x into 3. 3 e power x minus e power x is 2 e power x divided by 1 plus e power x the whole square. Question number 26 y equals root of x plus root x. Differentiating. Since there is a square root, I can square on both the sides. So, as I am squaring, y becomes y square. Root will become root the whole square. Root and square cancels. We just get x plus root x. As I differentiate, y square becomes 2y. y becomes dy dx. RHS x becomes 1. Root x becomes 1 by 2 root x. As we cross multiply, 2y dy dx equals 2 root x plus 1 by 2 root x. Bringing 2y down, dy dx equals 2 root x plus 1 divided by 2y into 2 root x. That is, 2 root x plus 1 by 2 into 2, 4. What is y actually? Root of x plus root x into root x. Here, we have done squaring on both the sides to avoid one square root symbol. So, y equals root of. As I square, this root cancels, y becomes y square. Then I differentiate y square. Let us remember x square the derivative 2x. y square the derivative. y square will become 2y. Hide square. y becomes dy dx. RHS x becomes 1. Root x becomes 1 by 2 root x. Taking LCM. Bringing 2y down. What is y? We have substituted and that is the final answer. Question number 27. y equals e power x into cos x. As we differentiate y with respect to x. y becomes dy dx. rhs e power x the derivative e power x. E power x cos x, the derivative. E power x cos x into, hide e, the power I must differentiate. X cos x derivative. X cos x is a product pattern. So, copy E power x cos x. Here, there are two terms. Keep x, differentiate cos x plus Keep cos x, differentiate x. As we simplify, e power x cos x, x into cos x derivative minus sin x plus cos x into x derivative 1. So what is my final answer? e power x cos x into minus x sin x plus cos x. And that is the answer for dy dx. Question number 28. y equals root of x plus root of x plus root x. There are three square root symbols. By squaring on both the sides, we shall get rid of at least one square root. y becomes y square. The outermost square root will get cancelled. x plus root of x plus root x. As we differentiate y with respect to x, y square will become 2y dy dx. y square 2y. Whenever y comes dy dx. x becomes 1. Root, the formula, 1 by 2 root of. Root, the formula, 1 by 2 root of. Then what is inside the root? 
we need to differentiate. As we simplify, 1 plus 1 by 2 root of x plus root x into x becomes 1. Root x the derivative 1 by 2 root x. Taking LCM, 1 plus 1 by 2 root of x plus root x into. Here the LCM 2 root x. As I cross multiply, it is 2 root x plus 1. Again, I can multiply. It is 1 plus 2 root x plus 1 divided by 2 into 2, 4 root x root of x plus root x. Let us take LCM. Here I have dy dx. Bring 2y down to the other side. As I take LCM, 4 root x root of x plus root x. The numerator as I cross multiply, 4 root x root of x plus root x plus 2 root x plus 1. Now, wherever y comes, I can substitute the given result. So, dy dx becomes 1 by 2 fours are 8. I have root x. I have root of x plus root x. What is y from here? Root of x plus root of x plus root x. The numerator. We have 4 root x root of x plus root x plus 2 root x plus 1. And that is the final answer. So what have we done? The outermost square root. We have squared to remove. As I square, I get y as y square. x plus root of x plus root x y square when I differentiate it is 2y dy dx x becomes 1 root becomes 1 by 2 root into what is inside the root I must differentiate x becomes 1 root x becomes 1 by 2 root x take LCM by cross multiplying multiply these two again take LCM by the time LHS 2Y bring to the RHS to the denominator. What is Y? Let us substitute from the given question. As we substitute and simplify, we get dy by dx is 4 root x root of x plus root x plus 2 root x plus 1 divided by 8 root x root of x plus root x what is y root of x plus root of x plus root x and that is the answer one of the most challenging problems to understand chain rule question number 29 y equals sine of tan of root sine x see what all we need to differentiate First, we will differentiate sine which becomes cos. Then tan which becomes secant square. Then root which becomes 1 by 2 root. Then sine x which becomes cos x. So, four steps we have. First, sine. Second, tan. Third, square root symbol. Fourth, sine x. So, as we differentiate y with respect to x y becomes dy dx sin will become cos tan root sin x hide sign which we have differentiated the remaining i need to differentiate tan root sin x derivative the next step cos tan root sin x tan the derivative secant square root sin x tan the derivative secant square root sin x i completed tan forget it what is remaining root sin x 
differentiate this. The next step. Copy this as it is. Cos tan root sin x. Secant square root sin x into root sin x derivative. Root will become 1 by 2 root of sin x. Root will become 1 by 2 root. Hide is root also. What is left out? Sin x. So differentiate sin x. As I differentiate, copy the first three as it is. Sin x derivative cos x. So my answer is done. Can you cancel these two? No. This is in the argument of secant square. So this is my final answer. Just leave it like this. You can bring 1 by 2 in the beginning. And then the remaining you just copy down. Cos of tan of root sin x. Secant square root sin x. Into cos x. This denominator we have to retain in the beginning. Sine becomes cos. Tan becomes secant square. Root becomes 1 by 2 root. Sin x becomes cos x. An ultimate idea to understand chain rule easily. Question number 30. Y equals sine inverse. 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. Here is a challenging problem where we apply trigonometry formula to reduce it easily. We can also apply chain rule applying formula for sine inverse and then u by v the quotient pattern. Otherwise I can use trigonometry. Put x is equal to tan alpha. 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square becomes 1 minus tan square alpha by 1 plus tan square alpha. And this reduces to cos 2 alpha. Cos can be written as sine of pi by 2 minus. So cos 2 alpha is sine of pi by 2 minus 2 alpha. Let me substitute this in the given question y equals sine inverse instead of this bracket we have reduced sine pi by 2 minus 2 alpha sine inverse sine cancels i just get pi by 2 minus 2 alpha what is 2 alpha actually pi by 2 minus 2 alpha from here x is tan alpha. So alpha will be tan inverse x. Alpha we write tan inverse x. As we differentiate y with respect to x. So long I was only simplifying the given expression. As I simplify y becomes dy dx. Pi by 2 is a constant that becomes 0. Minus 2. Tan inverse. The derivative 1 by 1 plus x square. As I simplify it is minus 2 by 1 plus x square. And that is the final answer.